All right, guys, we are not dead. We did not give up. Um, today is currently... Um, tomorrow's July 1st. Today's Sunday. Uh, what you guys are about to see is super old. And I apologize for that. We are in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Like I said, we haven't given up. Um, we are staying at a hotel right now because we both have the flu. Um, we've been pounding medication and I'm trying to edit this video for you guys right now. Um, I'm having to download like my intro and everything off the laptop that we bought so I could edit is currently messed up. It's a Dell G7 and for some reason it just does not want to turn on. We've spent the last few days running around begging computer shops to push us forward to the front of the line so we can figure out what's going on with it. Um, I hate editing on Lita's laptop. Basically, it's an all-day deal. Um, I'm having to download because all my recordings are on that. I'm having to re-download everything onto Lita's laptop just to edit this. So uh, I keep getting a lot of questions. Are we dead? Have we given up? We're not dead. We haven't given up. Been running super hard. And um, that's it. So, hope you enjoy this video that I'm putting out that probably took me two days to put out. So, stay tuned. I'm going to get a new laptop or get this one fixed. All right, guys. We are headed out. For the ver first time, uh, we're not going to count that um, those air conditions, those air conditioners we hauled. Uh, Lita's on the truck again, and uh, yeah, we've already got uh, we've got two jobs lined up. Today's Friday, the Friday after Memorial Day. Yeah, and so we've got one going from Savannah, Georgia, to Alabama. Demopolis, what was it? Demopolis. Demopolis, I don't know how to say Alabama, it. and then we got a another one from Mississippi coming back to Savannah. So let's do this. All right. So we just arrived in Savannah. Um, it is uh, twelve thirty-six, and. Um, they're not ready. The uh, the rate sheet says to be here between 12 and 3. And we got here and uh, they said they still have a couple more hours on working on it. So they said we can drop our trailer and come back. And uh, I don't know, depending on how long it takes them, uh, we might have to call this broker and be like, yo, we're going to need some money for sitting here. Because now we've started our 14 hour clock. Plus they want this thing delivered by tomorrow. Um, oh, what time tomorrow? Uh, same thing, Twelve between 12 to 3 is okay. what the Raycon said. Yeah. So, um, which this will put us driving pretty much all night long. So that kind of sucks because you know what it is like to find a parking spot. So we're going to go find something to eat, blow some time, and... Um, They're going to text us when it's ready, hopefully. Yeah, we gave them a, a card and said call us. Oh. All right, guys, we went and ate lunch and we came back. Um, we've been here for three and a half hours now and they're still not ready they're still working on this thing um, looks like they're back here sandblasting it like it's not even painted or they still have to paint it I don't know what's going on uh, we just emailed the broker we're gonna see what they can do um, but they're gonna have to pay for this this is crazy All right, guys, we are somewhere in Alabama. Ola Pika, Alabama. Oh, there was no truck stops around. So we are at Planet Fitness. 
They got a pretty big parking lot here. Humongous parking lot here. Um, so I didn't talk about this load because it took them so long to get it ready that I think they felt like they had to help us tarp it and strap it and I mean chain it. We put we got two chains or we got a chain on the front, chain on the back. 7,000 pounds. Um, so there was like six guys standing around getting in the way basically while we were doing this. Um, I was yelling at Lita because I thought she was pulling on it. Come to find out there was like six guys over here pulling on this tarp all at once. Um, and this tarp job is crap. <sighs> And we shredded our tarp again. Yeah, it looks like it beat up. Oh, we we had some bungees break. That sucks. Yep. Some bungees broke and that our, chain. Our blanket is off. Well, that's on a that was wrapped around a piece of metal right here. Damn. So it took them four hours to get this ready. So they gave us a uh, hundred bucks for detention. And then um, the people there gave us $100 and said dinner was on them. So that's pretty cool. So it is, um, what is it, like 10 o'clock at night? Yeah. So um, we are going to grab something to eat, go grab a shower, and uh, go to sleep. I have to film us walking to get something to eat because I'm always filming this walking to get something to eat. I don't know if the, uh, you might be right. I don't I'm know if the, you, dude. we might have to walk up through the drive through yeah. How about Taco Bell? You think Taco Bells would be open? Uh, I don't know if we can walk in here and eat. And we're at a Hardee's because that's the only thing that's, I don't know, there's a Bojangles and a Taco Bell, but, you know, let's see if they'll let us eat in this lobby. All right, guys, we just woke up and uh, walked over and got some um, some iced coffees from uh, Hardee's. It's decent. Um, probably some of the better ones that we've had from these fast food chains. Dunkin' Donuts has the best iced coffee. But uh, So what I've been doing since the GPS has been biting me in the butt and all that, and it's making it a little bit easier to find places, so I punch it in on the GPS, and then uh, when you connect your phone to the truck, it allows you to use Google Maps on your truck. So I'll uh, punch in all the addresses on both of them. And then when I get time to uh, where I'm looking for something to, uh, you know, where to stop, a truck stop or something, you can push a button on the steering wheel and just talk to your phone. And I'll be like, look for Planet Fitnesses along my route or super walmarts along my route and it'll show you all the super walmarts along your route and how far they are and how long it'll take you to get there and i just match that up with my uh, time left to drive so that's how i use pretty much every minute of my driving that i can and then when i find you know i'll, I'll try planet fitness first we'll look up the address and if it uh if it looks like it's got a big parking lot like this like i showed you guys last night i don't know if you could tell this is a this is a good sized parking lot, so I'm not afraid to park here. But a lot of them will be in like a uh, a tiny parking lot that you can't really park at. So if if that's the case and there's no truck stops around, you know I'll check the uh, Trucker Path app. I checked it last night and every, all of them around said that it was full. And then I'll check a uh, Walmart, you know, Super Walmart, see if there's a Super Walmart around. So. Uh, but I think the key is to uh, try to use up as much as your driving time as you can if you want to, you know, pump out as many loads as you can to make money. So we're going to do our pre-trip here and uh, go drop this thing off. Oh, I don't know if I told you. I'll post a picture of this. They said it's a, um, has something to do with recycling paper. I think what happens is... Uh, it's like a big tank they dump in a bunch of paper and it's got like a rotor that, that kind of beats up the paper in, the, in water I said this is the second one they've built for this company the other one wore out after a couple years so uh, yeah all right we'll see you there
Maybe we should chain them like we have the corner. 